Doctors in Louisville and across the nation are seeing more cases of what's called super staph. It's a bacteria that is common in hospitals and is resistant to antibiotics. But super staph has made its way into the community. Fox 41's Jennifer Bayless spent the day talking with local experts and joins us now with more on this growing problem. Jennifer? Elizabeth and Bill, it's passed from person to person and anyone can get it. When left untreated, it can be life-threatening. It's really here and it's causing illness. To Dr. Matt Zahn and others in the medical community, it's known as methicillin-resistant staph, or MRSA. There are people who die of, of MRSA, and that, that definitely happens. The bacteria once treated in hospitals by antibiotics has become resistant to those drugs. This is one of the community side effects you see to a lot of antibiotic use. You lose a lot of antibiotics. This MRSA strain is like staph on steroids. We're certainly seeing MRSA infections really in uh, many different people in the community, kids, adults, and, and healthy people as well as the ill. Zahn says most people come into emergency rooms with a sore that looks like a spider bite. But in reality, it's the superbug bacteria that's made its way into a hair follicle or cut. MRSA has taken over. It's become the most common cause of community-acquired uh, skin infections. One third of the general population carry MRSA in their nose without symptoms. But as people touch their nose, that's when it's transferred from person to person. It's common enough and enough people carry the germ whether they're sick or not. Once the staph bacteria makes its way to a surface, any surface such as a phone, it can live there for several weeks. But as easy as it is to pick up the virus, it's just as easy to reduce your risk of getting it simply by using good hygiene. Washing your own hands is a great way to prevent you from getting uh, infected yourself. He would know Dr. Richard Miller is considered an expert on MRSA. This, this is a uh, culture of, uh, of methicillin resistant Staph aureus. His environmental safety technologies lab here in Louisville is the only lab in the nation to develop an environmental test for the bacteria. If we can just show them that there's MRSA there, it, it wakes them up. They say, oh my gosh, we better do something. We didn't realize that this was that much of an issue. Now, in most cases, MRSA is treatable, but for people who have a compromised immune system, such as someone with cancer, the infection can be deadly. Jennifer Bayless, Fox 41 News.